Hi there guys, this is Ralph from 4K Equipment. Today I have a total station comparison video for you guys. Um, and here we'll be comparing a Leica on the left, a Trimble in the middle, and Topcon on the right. On the left we've got here the Leica ICR series. This is a 70, um, they also have an 80 option. We have an AP20 tilt pole and then a 10 inch tablet. And then a 7 inch tablet is also available with the Leica series. Here in the middle we have the Trimble RTS series. This is an 873 total station. And then uh, we've got the 10 inch tablet here. Um, this is the T100. They also offer a 7 inch version. And then over here on the right we have our Topcon GT series. This is a 1203 total station. And then we have our 7 inch tablet only as an option there. Up next on our comparison, we have our uh, Bluetooth distances that basically give you the range and how these connect. Um, here on the left on our Leica ICR series, we have our Bluetooth from our tablet to our total station. And then our total station actually Bluetooths to this AP20 handle. Uh, the AP20 has about a thousand feet on it, but this CS35 tablet has about 800 feet on it. Here in the middle, we've got a Trimble RTS series again. Um, we actually have a 2.4 gigahertz radio signal from that tablet to the total station. And that's gonna give us about 1200 feet of range. And then over here on the right, we've got our Topcon GT series. Um, we actually have Bluetooth from the tablet up to the long length RC5 here on the top here. And then that is what actually connects to the total station, which gives you about a thousand feet of range. Uh, next here we have how each searches for the prism. Um, our, here in our Leica, we have Leica's 360 degree power search to prism, where there are actually LED lights flashing just on top of that AP20 there, and it'll look for that exact AP20. Here in the middle, we have our Trimble RTS series. Um, it's actually a joystick on the tablet here. Um, then you get the visual to the general direction and you use a 15 degrees box search to this prism up here on the top with the LEDs visible there as well. And then here on the top cod side, we've got a 360 degrees quick search to the RC5 up here. It uses infrared to find it and then it goes down to the prism underneath it. Next up here, we have how each prism locks um, with the total station here. Um, the AP20 has diode lights on top of it, as mentioned earlier here, and that is for active tracking and it allows recognition so you can switch between different channels. The Trimble setup has the exact same style with the MT1000 prism here. It has diode lights there on the top and all the way around it. And then that is also for active track and channel recognition. And then over here on the top con side, we have no active tracking going on. Um, up next, all three of these do have lasers. Um, the left side has a red beam for short interior use. If you're wanting to go reflectorless, you would need these lasers. Um, here in the middle, the Trimble has an auto-focusing green beam, which can be used for much longer measurements. And since it auto-focuses, it'll actually be a point as opposed to a line at a far distance. And then over here at our Topcon, we have a red beam for short interior use as well as the Leica. And finally, for the accuracy, all three of these total stations do come with different arc second measurements of how accurate they are. Um, here with our Leica ICR series, you have the options between 1, 2, and 5 arc second um, to either be more accurate or save you money there. Our Trimble series actually only has one arc second option, and it is three arc seconds for horizontal accuracy and two arc seconds for vertical. And then over here for our Topcon series, we have that 1, 3, and 5 arc second options available as well. And now I'll go ahead and uh, set these guys up for you. I have a demo job installed on all of these, and then I'll just do some, um, some footage of laying out with each one and then going over the software differences. Here we have the Leica Icon Build software. Um, the main advantage of this software is that it's more user-friendly than the Trimble Field Link or Topcon Magnet software. Um, today we're going to be showing the Layout Points feature. So the Layout Points. We're going to select a point from the list. We'll go point 40. 
we're gonna start. Now it's shown exactly where our prism is in relation to the job. As we move, that prism is gonna get closer and closer and the measurements are changing. As you get to this screen, you're gonna to wanna to face directly at the total station and it'll give you your residual values. Once it turns green, you can store the point. The Leica has an AP20 tilt feature, so you do not have to run the bipod or use the level bubble. So here we have the Trimble FieldLink software. Um, the main difference on this one is everything is an icon instead of a word, so it's a little bit harder to learn, uh, but once you know it, it's quick. So you go, we'll go to measure, layout. Now we have point 32 selected. It's given us our distances. And then as we move, that dot is gonna go closer and closer until we find the point here. Once you find the point, you'll actually have to level the rod using the bipod. And then it'll show your accuracies here. Um, you'll press the star button here to store your point. This total station also comes equipped with vision. If you lose your total station, it'll pop up a camera. Um, it does take a second to adjust, so it's not instantaneous. Okay, here we have the Topcon magnet software. Um, this one is the cheapest out of all three, um, but it's a little bit more complicated to use, but it does have a lot of extra options um, for surveying use. Um, today we're gonna do stake. We're gonna stake out a point. Our point name is 100. Click stake here. Now the point itself that we're looking for is shown in that bullseye. This bullseye is us. As we move, you can see that'll move. It'll show a directional arrow for the way you're pointing. And as you get closer, go here. And then once you're accurate, here's your residual accuracies on the right and then it'll show up with a green circle around it once it's measured correctly. Um, you do, it doesn't have tilt, so you do have to level the rod using the level bubble here. Hi there guys, Ralph here again. I just wanted to add a slide here at the end of the video uh, summarizing the hardware differences that I went over at the beginning of the video over the Leica, Trimble, and Topcon series um, that we offer here at 4K Equipment. Uh, we do keep our website up to date daily. Uh, link is in the description. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing more of a software side difference, I can make a video for that. Um, feel free to contact us. Let me know. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching.